let's see the chemical properties of carboxylic acid eh? as i told you just now okay uh carboxylic acid is an acid okay so it undergoes all the reactions of acid eh? and the first reactions of acid is uh it react with uh reactive metal react with reactive metal how do we know a metal is reactive or not reactive now reactive metal uh, is the metal higher than hydrogen in uh, reactivity theory okay hydrogen uh. let's say this is reactivity series iron okay zinc and so on so hydrogen hydrogen is between lead and copper right okay so all the metals higher than hydrogen uh, higher than hydrogens are considered reactive metal okay and they can react with acid this metal can react with acid eh? and for the metal lower than hydrogen they cannot react with acid the reactive metals are the metal higher than hydrogen in the reactivity series okay so copper and silver cannot react with acid uh, there's one exceptional case for copper copper can react with uh, nitric acid but that's not in the scope of the discussions of SBM. Eh? so you just assume that copper cannot react with acid that's all so if you can't remember all then you just remember copper and silver cannot react with, with acid that's all copper and silver eh, cannot react with acid all other metals can react with acid to produce uh, salt and hydrogen gas eh? okay so that is about uh, reactive metal so carboxylic acid can react with uh, more reactive metals to produce uh, i think you cancel the word moles uh, okay to produce salt and hydrogen uh, okay for example carboxylic acid react with uh, reactive metal it produces salt and hydrogen gas uh, hydrogen gas example uh ethanoic acid react with zinc uh, zinc okay ethanoic acid uh, ethanoic acid when dissolve in water you add water it will become ch3coo negative plus hydrogen ions eh? uh, this is called the ethanoid ions okay ethanoid eh? ethanoid ions now this ethanoid ions it will react with zinc okay it will react with zinc eh? zinc the charge is too positive eh? too positive okay zinc when it react eh, if the charge is too positive this one the charge is one negative which means which means one zinc ion can react with two ethanoid ion right okay mm -hmm. so then what's the formulas of the salt form can any of you tell me what's the formulas of the salt formed it form zn ch3 coo eh? okay two now okay ch3 COO 2 ZN. Okay. Now, uh, both also acceptable. Both also acceptable. Eh? But usually, <coughs> usually, eh, we put a, if we put a bracket and 2, eh, we will put the positive ion in front, eh, usually. Okay. But if you give this also, it's acceptable. Eh? It's acceptable. Okay. So this is the salt form. Eh? This is the salt form. And this is called zinc ethanoid. Eh? Zinc ethanoid okay and at the same time uh, hydrogen gas is released eh? hydrogen gas is released okay and then uh, to balance the equations we need to have uh, two ethanoic acid one more okay uh, this one is ethanoic acid with uh, calcium actually uh, it's the same thing okay you form calcium ethanoid CH3COO2 eh? and then plus hydrogen gas okay to balance it we put a two here okay so that is the reactions between acid and reactive metal eh? okay mm. the reactive metals are the metals higher than hydrogen in the uh, reactivity reactions of carboxylic acid with carbonates eh? carbonates and uh, we have learned this in form 4 eh? okay that's all acid when react with carbonate it will produce salt water and carbon dioxide eh? salt water and carbon, carbon dioxide so carboxylic acid with metal carbonate salt carbon dioxide and water example uh, methanoic acid with sodium carbonate okay uh, can any of you tell me what's the formula of the salt formed what's the formula of the salt formed 
So this one, it will form HCO negative eh, and hydrogen ions. Eh? Okay. And a sodium carbonate, it will form sodium ion and carbonate ions. Eh? So sodium will react with this uh, methanol. So what's the, what's the salt form? What's the formulas of the salt formed? Methanol with sodium. So you can see that this is negative, this is positive, right? Okay, so they will combine together, okay? They will uh, attach or, or, or this uh, uh, attract each other, okay? Attract each other. So the formula will become HCOONA, okay? HCOONA. Sometimes uh, they will still put the charge here. You can put the charge or you, you, you can ignore it, okay? Yeah. Usually we do not, we don't need to put the charge, okay? Uh, just HCOONA, okay? And usually the positive ion we put at the back, eh? put at the back. Just now I said if you have a bracket and two or three, then you put it, uh, the positive ion in front. But if there's no brackets, okay, uh, then we put the positive ion at the back to show that this sodium actually is uh, attached to these oxygens. Eh? The sodium actually attached to these oxygens. So we write HCOONA, eh? okay? Uh, and then we have carbon dioxide and water. Okay, uh, to balance the equations, we need to have uh, two sodium ethanoid and uh, two ethanoic, sorry, sodium methanoid eh? and two methanoic acid. How about this one? Ethanoic acid with calcium carbonates. What, so what's the formulas of the salt formed? Calcium, eh? this calcium will form salt with the negative ions of the acid, which is the ethanoid. So we start from C A, yeah? C A, yes. C H three C O O, uh, yes, that's correct. Carbon dioxide and water. Okay, and we need to have a uh, two ethanoic acid. We need to put a bracket and put a two uh, because this one the charge is one negative, but calcium the charge is two positive. Eh? Okay, neutralizations. As other acid, eh? carboxylic acid react with base oxide or alkali eh? to produce salt and water. So carboxylic acid, base oxide or alkali, salt and water. So for example, uh, this is base oxide, eh? methanoic acid with base oxide. So calcium will form salt with this uh, methanoid. Eh? So it will become Ca HCOO2, eh? okay, and then plus uh, water h2o and uh, we need to have two methanoic acid uh, next one okay uh, this is alkali eh? this is alkali this is a base oxide this is alkali okay so ethanoic acid with uh, sodium hydroxide this is an alkali okay so it will form ch3coo eh? This one, CH3COO, we add with the sodium, eh? CH3COO and A. And then plus uh, uh, this OH, with this H, eh, will form water, H2O. Uh, one more. This one is uh, ethanoic acid with aluminum oxide. So the salt formed is uh, ALCH3COO. Three, eh? okay, because aluminium the charge is three positive, eh? okay, and then uh, plus water H two O. This one to balance it, we need to have two aluminium, uh, two aluminium, and then uh, six, six uh, ethanoic acid eh? because two times three six, eh? okay, two aluminium, and then um, three oxygens three oxygens here so we need to have three water three water so this is the balance equations eh? these are balance equations for the reactions uh the last one esterifications okay esterification is the process to produce ester eh? okay so carboxylic acid react with alcohol okay carboxylic acid and alcohol eh? with the presence with this uh, concentrated sulfuric acid as a catalyst so this one just cast the catalyst eh? to uh, speed up the reactions okay and then it will produce ester okay so carboxylic acid react with alcohol it will produce ester and water ester and water example okay examples eh? 
this one is uh this ethanoic acid react with ethanol eh? okay now let's see what happens eh? what happens let's draw the structures of this uh, ethanoic acid the structure of formula COOH eh? okay and then uh, alcohol eh? alcohol let's draw the OH first eh? OH so we have this uh, H O and then we have this uh, two carbons so when this ethanoic acid eh, react with this ethanol with the presence of this uh, concentrated sulfuric acid as catalyst eh, so what happened is that this H and this OH eh, okay when they collide with each other eh, this H and this OH okay they will combine together okay combines together to form water okay they will combine together to form water so the products eh? so the products is water h2o okay now after they form water this alcohol eh, and this carboxylic acid they will combine together this will combine with this eh? okay combine with this and after they combine they will form something like this eh? let me draw it here uh, Okay, now this is uh, the ethanol. Eh? This is the ethanol. Okay, and then uh, after that is this one. Okay, eh? so we have this uh, O and then two carbons. Okay, so this is the ester formed. This is the ester form. Okay, so that's what happens. Okay. Carboxylic acid react with alcohol, eh? okay? This H and OH, okay, combines to form water and uh, leaving these two uh, structure. These two structures, then they will combine together to form ester, okay, to form ester. So from here, we learn that if an alcohol eh, react with carboxylic acid, eh? okay? So you need to know that this part, eh? CH3COO, eh? okay? This part, it will combine with this part of the alcohol C two H five, C two H five to form ester. To form ester, and then the H and the OH here, okay, it will form water. So this is the ester form because in exam they will ask you to draw the formula to write the formula, okay. So then you see this. Uh, ethanoic acid, ethanol. Eh? Okay, so what's the formulas of the ester formed? Okay, the formulas of the ester formed is uh, CH3COO from the carboxylic acid eh? and C2H5 from alcohol. Eh? Uh, so they combine together to form an ester. Okay, and H and OH form water. Let's see another example. Okay, so this is ethanoic acid with uh, methanol. What's the formula of the ester formed? CH3COO, the eh? so CH3COO, eh? and then combine with this CH3, CH3, okay, and then plus H2O. That's correct. So that is esterification, eh? carboxylic acid with alcohol, produce ester and water. Example, methanoic acid react with uh, ethanol, okay. Uh, let's write the chemical equations. Eh? Methanoic acid with uh, ethanol. Eh? Methanoic acid is a uh, H C O O H. Eh? Ethanol C two H five O H. Okay, tell me what's the formula of the ester formed? H C O O C two H5, okay, and plus H2O. Okay, yeah, that's correct. What about this one? Ethanoic acid plus methanol. Ethanoic acid, C2, H5, uh, sorry, CH3, COOH, plus uh, methanol, CH3, OH, eh? okay. Uh, so the product is CH3COO 
CH3 plus water. Okay, so uh, the, the apparatus set up. Okay, apparatus set up for these reactions. Uh. Again, we have a lipid condenser. We use reflux. Uh. The reason is the same because we have alcohol. Eh. So we, we want to prevent the alcohol from escape to the surrounding. So we use reflux. So we have a propanol, ethanoid, and concentrated acid. Okay. Um, so what's the functions of the concentrated acid in the reactions? Yes, yes. can any of you tell me what's the functions of this uh, concentrated uh, sulfuric acid as a catalyst? Yes, that's correct. Okay, as a catalyst to increase the rate of reactions. Huh? Okay, that's correct. What's the observations at the end of the experiment? Huh? Okay, so you heat it uh, and uh, it, it reacts. Huh? Okay, so what can be observed? Okay, now ester are insoluble in water. So ester are insoluble in water. So therefore, if ester form, then it will form two layer. And ester, ester is colorless. Huh? So it will form two layer, two layer, uh, two colorless layer, okay, two colorless layer, and then so ester is uh, the density is lower than water, so it will float on the surface, eh? and then and ester it has this uh, fruity smell, sweet fruity smell, okay. So that's observations, eh? okay. After the reaction, you can see two colorless layer because ester is insoluble in water, okay, and ester has this uh, sweet pretty smell so that's observations eh? to know is uh, why the products of the experiment is poured into water after these reactions eh? okay we pour it into water uh, that is to separate the ester from ethanoic acid and propanol because propanol and ethanoic acid are soluble in water but ester are insoluble so if you pour it into water these two dissolve in water but ester does not dissolve then we can separate it Okay, so ester will float on the surface of the water, therefore it can be removed easily while excess propanol and ethanoic acid dissolve in water. Now that is to separate ester from propanol and ethanoic acid. Eh?